It's hard to follow a stay-at-home order if you don't have a home to stay in. That's the problem thousands of Americans who lost their jobs in the coronavirus pandemic could be facing. As Morgan Wright reports, there's a multi-billion dollar plan in the works, but some say it's too much. As a record number of Americans seek unemployment, Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed says Congress needs to protect house and home. The first of May has come. That's typically the, the, the day you pay your mortgage or you pay your rent. Reed says if missed payments lead to evictions and foreclosures, it will delay us from bouncing back from this recession. That's why he says he has proposed a $75 billion housing assistance fund. Every housing authority in the states of, in the United States will receive a portion of the funds. And it will allow them, again, to help people avoid foreclosure, eviction. But New York Republican Congressman John Katko says Congress has already addressed this issue. There's already uh, forbearance of up to 120 days for people to pay their rents uh, and mortgages. Katko says he wants to be sure landlords and mortgage lenders aren't left holding the bag. If they can't pay their bills because individuals can't, are, are, are not obligated to pay their mortgages or pay their rent, um, you're going to see a housing stock, especially for lower income Americans, go through the go through the toilet. As critical as the CARES Act was, you know, the funding was really insufficient. You know, it ran out very quickly. Rajani Frederick is with the Center for American Progress. Where we see some of the struggle most is the housing. She says the more Congress can provide to renters, homeowners and landlords, the better. In Washington, Morgan Wright, CBS 17 News.